Well, science teaches us that Earth has gravity. Earth is literally attracting us towards its center, um, wh where I believe that it's full of love. Earth itself is full of love, and this gravitational pull is what is connecting what we perceive as our bodies with with Earth. <laughs> Question Enlightenment Deep Conversation Spirituality This is the Spiritual Download. Welcome to the Spiritual Download. I'm out here. I kind of have a a day off a little bit. Um, schools are being closed around the country, but uh, uh, teachers are still having to work from distance learning, or e-learning it's also called. So um, right now I've sent my lesson plans in for the day for, so the kids can connect with uh, some of the documentaries that I've posted, questions to answer. And now I'm able to kind of come outside and ground so I'm going to be talking about what it means to ground uh, in order to fly. So grounding in order to fly. The idea is connecting with earth. Connecting with earth is extremely, extremely important. The first thing that I think about is taking a deep breath inwards towards your belly. So you're breathing all the way down into your belly or you might feel some tightness in your belly. You might feel some tightness there, some stress. But you breathe in the fresh air all the way through your upper belly and even all the way down to your lower belly, just below your belly button. You kind of put your awareness there and you breathe, breathe into it. So if you take one more deep breath in and feel it expand, now you can feel that energy start to touch, touch your feet or if you're sitting on your chair, and then it connects with, with uh, Earth itself. So the energy, when you're breathing and connecting with the air, you begin to connect with the Earth itself, like the soil, the ground, and then you be begin to feel kind of a balance. You begin to feel very balanced when you are connected with the Earth and its gravitational pull. And this is through gravity and balance. So our, our job is to find balance in this gravitational pull, okay? And as I'm speaking, there's two gigantic bald eagles over here flying above, okay? So that's kind of also part of it is feeling, feeling once you get grounded is you feel the movement of nature, the silence. Just imagine this eagle right here the eagle right here is soaring, so now you're able to fly, right? Because now you're in balance, you're able to fly, literally fly like an eagle, <laughs> like in that song, right? Fly like an eagle. Um, but again, it's super important to ground and get in touch with the soil and nature itself in order to have that soaring feeling um, that you're being like uh, lifted up. You're being literally lifted up. Your consciousness is being lifted, lifted up. So it's, it's a paradox that you ground by going down, fo by focusing on your belly. Um, but also, uh, when that happens, you're also lifting upwards, which would be more towards your head area, right? And then what's in between is, is love, is your heart, right? Your heart is in between your belly, maybe the tension that you feel there, or now the relaxation that you feel there, and then your head. Your head begins to feel very clear. And this is when you begin to put your awareness there, and you can feel kind of the, the energy of like the soaring, the soaringness, the flying, begins to descend down into your heart, where it's now connected to the grounding that you've done from by connecting with earth, right? So um, I think it's very important for us to be aware of our true selves here 
as as the heart, as the body, but not not without not with any judgments. There's no need to judge how you feel in your body. Um, the only thing that you need to judge is <laughs> how much am I loving right now? How much am I loving the moment? How much am I living in the moment? How, can I live now? Can I live here now? Now, if you can't, it's important to ask if you can, to ask. I don't know how to live right now. I don't know how to live in the moment. You admit to yourself, I don't know how to live in the moment. Please help me, whether it's God, whether you believe in God or not, asking the universe, please help me live in the moment right here, right now. So that's, that's where happiness and creativity is from, is this, is this moment here as we are putting our awareness into our heart areas and maybe our bellies and clearing our heads. Now we can live life right here, right now. Because everything happens right here, right now. All decisions, all relationships, all even nature as you go out as you go out for a walk on a Sunday and you begin to feel the, that balance with nature, that, that oneness with nature. Um, through the breath, through silence and stillness, this is where we want to live from. Especially in this age of, of coronavirus where we're forced to slow down. Um, we're being spending more time at home, spending more time with our loved ones. Um, this requires a shift in perspective, a complete societal shift in perspective as to what is true, what is, ne what is coming next, what does it mean to be living in an age of coronavirus, what does it mean to be living in an age of climate change, what does it mean to be living in an age of political instability, economic instability? Um, how can we shift towards the more sustainable method of living here right now and not worrying about the past, not worrying about the bad things that can happen in the future, but by focusing on the positive of it all, the positivity of living now and planning for the future. So that's the paradox is we are living now, but we are planning for the future rather than being worried about the future. We are planning mindfully about the future. Future nows. <laughs> it's all now, but it is um, happening in the future. Okay, so the, f the future, we're going to cross that bridge when it gets when it gets here, right? The bridge is always guided. Uh, the bridge that we walk is always being guided by your intuition, by intelligence that isn't coming actually from you, your, your mind. It is coming from everything. It is, the goal is balance for everything. Balance for everything. And you are a part of that balance. Now, your job is to find your balance in that holistic balance, the holistic balancing that's happening on Earth, in the solar system, in the universe. It's a balancing act, okay? But we can become imbalanced because we were born imperfect. Our, our job is not to be perfect. Human beings are meant to live freely and make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Our job is not to worry and think that it's our job to do the future. It's our, our job is not to do um, and cre create from our egos. Our job is to listen to the universe and flow with it, flow with him, flow with her, the universe. Flow with nature, flow with the sky, right? Grounding and flying, grounding and flying. Okay, so <laughs> that's kind of the gist of grounding and flying. Um, I hope that you are able to feel a little bit more in the moment, a little bit more clear. Um, 
At this point, I, I would like to invite, if you want to contact me, um, I would like to meet you over Zoom, Skype, FaceTime. Um, I want to connect with people, uh, especially if you have any, any questions about um, happiness or what, really I want to figure out what's your path, right? There's not, there's not just one path. There's not one path. I am living my path. I hope that I'm living my path. <laughs> um, it's very intuitive. I'm, I have an intuition that I'm living my path. Um, and I want to connect with your path. I want our paths to meet somehow. Because I think the purpose of being separate is to eventually reunite. So I want to join you in this grand reunion of uh, human beings. As coronavirus is going on, okay, we're actually becoming closer. We're getting closer. We're, we're becoming uh, more and more one with our neighbors. We're becoming more and more one with ourselves. And this is why I want to build community. I want to build spiritual community. I want to connect with people who uh, are either very far on this path or just beginning on this path towards self-acceptance and earth acceptance and sky acceptance. Um, really accepting and loving um, everything that you really can perceive. Everything that you can think of or feel. That we're loving all of that. And that's, that's, I mean, everyone does it in their own way, but that's our task. Now, the goal is to find your path inside of this balancing, this balancing act. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.